Hey guys, it's 525 Pokemon again, and today I'm going to be showing you the Nintendo 3DS Pokedex 3D application for the 3DS. It, um, you would have to have gotten the system update which allows internet and the Nintendo eShop in order to have gotten the application, which I'll show you how to do later. See, up here is the internet icon, where you can click on there and surf the web. And down here's the Nintendo eShop. So I'm just going to click on the Pokemon application. <clears throat> now, as you can see, it's pretty much a regular Pokedex of all you Nova. Sorry, I just gotta get out my stylus. It's all you Nova Pokemon, and every day you get new da data added. Like, when you turn it on, it'll say right in the box about here, new data data has been added to your Pokedex. You're going to click OK, then the Pokemon that happens shows up there. I happened to yesterday, luckily got Victini. And what you could do with them is, like, you can click on here, and you could scroll through, and then you could click on a Pokemon, or you can go back, and you can click on Victini. Um, each Pokemon has this little movie film strip icon and what that allows you to do is make the pokemon do different cool th things so just click on it and victini he has two things he's the only one who has two things so victini goes like this and he also goes like this okay and then at each pokemon if you if you scroll down you see this it says pokemon black version you click it it says pokemon white version and tells you what they are, like, what their common abilities are in each of the games. And then you scroll down more, and it shows you the uh, um, evolution, the abilities, and the egg group. And you go down, and you have all the moves Victini can learn. And let's say I clicked on Flare Blitz as a move. It shows all the Pokemon I have in my Pokedex that can learn it. Plus Pokemon I need to get. So I need to get Darmanitan. I think that's Wisconsin. That's Darmuka. Larvesta. That's my Tepig, Pig Knight, and Embor, and Bikini. So I'm doing pretty good so far on the Pokedex. Alright. Once you get this application, it'll ask you if you want to enable something called Street Pass. If you say no, you can easily change that by going to the Tools icon scrolling down and you can click yes to street pass or no to street pass what street pass it allows you to do is when um you have your ds in sweet mode mode and you go out and someone else has this application on street pass also you can get the pokemon that they have on their ds onto your ds and you know it'll be different pokemon because every day someone gets a new pokemon um and f from if you have street pass on and when you get receive new data it's not particularly every day yesterday i got a um victini as i told you before today i got a sock pretty cool and there are 3d icons of them it's pretty awesome so yeah this is definitely um a uh, application that i would check out it's free right now at the um store the eShop on the DS it's one well, it's completely free and it's really fun it's like not even a game but it's still really fun um so if i were you i would check it out and please comment rate and subscribe on what you thought about this video um all right, before I go, I just want to um, show you how to get the system update. I'm going to click the home button. All right, what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to settings. Open. All right, you're going to go to um, other settings. You're going to go to the second or third yeah, third page going to go to no wait maybe the fourth yep the fourth you're going to go to system updates
And now it's just going to ask you, like, if you accept and everything. Then you're going to accept. Click I accept after you scroll down. This thing, you don't need to read any of it. And it'll just set it up. Um, so, once it's set up, then it'll open the Nintendo eShop. And once you did that, then you can just go back. Close. You know that the eShop works once you have the eShop, but before you try the eShop, I would try the internet, because at first it didn't work for me, because if you're not connected to your internet browser, then it won't work. So you have to connect to it. And then you can obviously just go on Google. Well, it'll ask you what you want to choose. Yahoo, Hotmail, Google, all those things. I chose Google. All right. That's about it for now, um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.